Well, after getting out the other week and making a big point about, oh, I'm getting out again, I haven't been out again since. So, today, we made the effort. Me and Mark, and Lenny and Roy, the hardtails. Yeah, that's the names we've given him. Mark's the guide today. I've never been here before. And he's brought us to the top and he said, there's one there, 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 one there. And so which one should we do? Is that? I don't know. So, we're going to do one of them ones. Right, so, see what it's like. There's a stunt ramp or two going that way. Don't feel up the stunt ramps yet. Well, it won't feel up to them later either, but you never know, do you? Now, Mark did say it could be an absolute sloppo today. But so far, it's pretty damn dry. And I've just turned to fake there, haven't I? Saying that, oh god, my feet have come funny on the pedals. I can't get them back now. <sighs> Woohoo! Very nice. I just wish I got my bloody feet on the pedals. There we go. Wow, that's quite really up camp a bit. I'm very glad it's dry. Otherwise that would have been fun. Oh. Ah. Yeah, lovely. Very nice. Happy days. So, we've come to a name trail. I think this is it. So I've not said where we are yet. Not decide whether I will or not. Really? Well, yeah, that's quite droppy. And here's the name trail. Ooh. Mark's had this one in a video. Dave Jenvey went down it and crashed. Then Mark went down it and crashed into Mr. Jenvey. Oh. That's a nice little trail, that. Now if I say its name, obviously, you'd know where it is. But it's steep. And it's Spanish steep. Does that make sense that it's male? Have you know it's about the Spanish language? Then that probably gives the trail name, to be honest. Now that wasn't sure about doing it, but I guess the fact that I have done it maybe means I'll have to now. Sorry, Mark. Now, I will say that I've seen videos of that and what I did then didn't look as bad as what it did in their videos. I think maybe it's had a bit of work done on it. Still pretty steep, lovely trail. I'd like to do it faster, but wouldn't we all like to do it faster, to be honest? Proper lovely day today. Bit cold, but the sun keeps trying to get out. And there's daffodils about. And I was going to film this all riding past some daffodils. But, I didn't get my camera on in time, so you just have to imagine, won't you? <sighs> I thought we were in Cheshire. We're not! We're in Staffordshire. <laughs> this is the third ride I've done in Staffordshire now. I think if you count Cannock and Handchurch. Handchurch. There we go. <laughs> There's more to Staffordshire than meets the eye. <laughs> Next one now. And um, we're going down there. <sighs> Supposed to be a good one. Christian wrecked his testicles on this one. He's got two prosthetics fitted now. Got them in little duckling shapes <laughs> for a bit of novelty. Yeah, so the weird thing with coming here is I've seen quite a few videos. Mark's Christian, Jonathan, I think even Will actually managed to make one with some footage of his one time. And so you sort of think, oh, I know what to expect. But then, you don't really, because it's, you know, what you see on footage is nothing like reality a lot of the time. And I think it can, whew, that was steep, fill you with dread about stuff as well. When you don't really need to. And the other thing, of course, is people have been before, they'll tell you what stuff's like, but it's their perception of stuff. And everybody's perception of stuff can be different, can't it? But Mark's been a really good guide. And he's been bang on with telling me about stuff so far. 
Ooh. A little bit. Oh God. Over I go. And as you may be able to see from the trail, in the stupidest of places. Because I was too intent on talking about my dog noise. Right, well, we're off to do another one now. We've just done the climb again. It's a tarmac climb, so it's relatively easy ish. If you fit, it'd be very easy. My trail guy's getting confused. <laughs> All the woods look the same. We've now found where we want to be, and off we go again. I really do love riding new places. It's so much fun. It's just that anticipation, even if was a small element of nerves. That was a bit lumpy. There's another one there behind. So look at that. Silly Billy me thought I spotted something else. There was something else. It was something unrideable. So we're off to do it again to see how we get on. <sighs> nice. Didn't put it in my video. You might have spotted it in the background. But well, there's a few stunt ramps on that side. Some big gaps. And the reason not my video, because I don't want to do them. This one, it's got a traffic light system. Dog poos in bags. Green means go. <laughs> this is the one, we hope. Dog poo trail. Hopefully that on the trail. I'll tell you something. It really annoys me when people do that. Go on to the trouble of picking up the dog's poo in a bag with their hands, tying it up, and then they just hang it off a bloody tree in a bag that's not going to degrade like the poo would if they left it on the ground. Now, where's the logic in that? Disgusting people, honestly. They should be forced to eat it. Simple as that. Wow, that was a steep one. This will be the one I not mentioned before. Yeah, definitely. Nice trail. Ooh. Wish I had a bit more knowledge struck confidence about that drop though. And I did it. But it was pretty. A bit like my face. So, we've just been looking at things. I don't know if looking at things helps really. Sometimes you just start overthinking the things you've looked at. We had to come back up again. Camera died. And I really wanted to get it on film, but couldn't. So, down we go again. More tired than before. So that's nice, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, never mind. Lovely trail, though. Well. Really is. Mark went a different way to me at the bottom. And he watched where he went on his video. For mine, you just have to guess, because I might not get to go the same way this time. Oh, I'm not off the rock drop again. <sighs> Did it the first time, not really know what was coming up. Whew. Yeah. This could be the one Mark did last time to finish this onto the dangerous road. Looks it. It's a loma. Whatever it is. Oh, golly gum jobs. I've done quite a few runs now. I mean runs as in down then obviously back up again. Tired is the way to describe it. Oh. Yeah, this is done that dude. Oh. Woo! Nice. Yeah, good. yeah. And there we go. A <laughs> successful film down. I actually think I rode the whole thing worse that time because I'm getting a bit sort of tired, not concentrating now. But we'll never know, will we? Because I'm not striving or anything. And this time I did do a different bottom. I did the bottom Mark did. And I've done that twice now. On camera, you probably just think, well, 
meh, meh. But that's a fair old run out. Luckily, there's all them lads there to tell me now what's coming on the road. Otherwise, I might have died under a Land Rover. We just saw Josh Bryceland and the 50 to 1 lot at the top. That's who Mark got on film before, the ones who looked really fast. What a surprise, they look fast! <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they don't bring a video out from today, because they'll show how to do this sort of stuff properly, and we'll just look like real lemons. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we're both pretty shot now. Yeah, we I might film it. some more, we might not. If we don't, then next time, who knows? Bye bye. I've found the eight man camera. <laughs> <laughs>